apprenticeship and traineeship provider nationally. So we offer apprenticeships in customer service, business admin, retail, management, project management, logistics, supply chain, that's just to, to name a few. Well, we tend to work with between 2,000 and 2,500 apprentices at one time. Some really great success stories um, of people that we've helped and have progressed through lots of different levels up to level four and five um, into an apprenticeship that have started with us on employment services, courses and then progressed through the ranks. And we support them with interview skills and preparation for the job role to begin with so when they go in front of an employer they're you know very confident and they're prepared for that interview. Then when they're in the job role we actually um, see them every month and support them through their qualifications, support them with their rights and responsibilities, any questions they might have and obviously with their standards and progression, internal progression with the company. What our plans are for the future is to continue to enable apprenticeships and traineeships to develop, progress and achieve and ultimately achieve their career goals. So basically once an apprentice gets signed up by the sales team um, I'll meet with them for their induction and that's when I get to know a bit more about them and about their job role and then we'll go through the course, um, explain the structure, what's involved and how it's all going to be covered and uh, carried out. Every programme is different so depending on what course they're studying uh, the content differs. We'll look at uh, knowledge, skills and behaviours and then we'll go through and see how the units relate to what they do in the workplace and how it fits in with their job role. Yeah, so I'll meet with my apprentices once a month for two to three hours and then we'll go through the session plans that fit in with the scheme of work to cover the content and work towards their endpoint assessment. I think the benefits of an apprenticeship are that um, an individual can get into, into work straight away and they can earn what was they're learning as well. I've done an apprenticeship myself as well so I know what's involved and I know um, what they go through and just a sense of achievement once they gain their qualification at the end of it. I did an apprenticeship when I was 16 with Intech. I was recruited by Intech and it was my first job and then obviously years later I'm here now recruiting for them. Um, I've done a recruitment qualification with them since joining Intech. Um, and now I'm just going on to do my team leader role. So the recruitment process would be that we would advertise the vacancy and they would then apply on the government website. We would pre-screen them and check that they're eligible. If they are successful, then they are interviewed by the employer. We all arrange all the in interviews for them and then they offer them the role and then we then take the apprenticeship from there with our sales execs. So if they send their CV over to us and they need a bit of help, then we do guide them with interviews as well. So if they're unsuccessful at interviews, um, we would then advise them some feedback. So going forward to the next interview, um, they can take that on board. I would say do it. It's definitely an opportunity to take on board and you've got it for the rest of your life. I do a level three business admin apprenticeship. Within my company, my role is parts administration, which is um, sourcing parts from suppliers um, and preparing them out for engineers for their jobs the next day. So I began doing A-levels. I did them for a little while but I just felt as though it was very slow paced. I went online and I saw that there was actually an option to do an apprenticeship which is equivalent to, to three A-levels and it, it was a lot more fast paced. You were able to learn on the job. So I've definitely developed um, customer service skills and being able to communicate with um, customers. Um, I've also developed my IT skills so I'm able to use things like Excel and Word a lot more efficiently. But whilst I've worked within the company I've, I've changed roles so I've had a lot of one-to-one -one training and it is a family run business so um, it's all quite close-knit and everyone's very helpful. For people who maybe aren't as academic or just, just don't really enjoy the whole exam element of school. It's quite good in that way that it's mainly like coursework and then you just have like a final project and you can take as long as you want and make sure that everything is as, as you would like to do it. So in my day-to-day -day job, I tend to just support other areas within the business, creating marketing, flyers and materials. Um, I'm currently working on a promotional project for employment services where we are pushing for traineeships and kickstarts. Originally I left school and I had a place at uni but I didn't really want to go because 
education in that class-based setting wasn't really for me. I really struggled to keep focus and like have motivation. I applied on the Gov website for my current apprenticeship and because it gave scope for marketing and administration it let me see where I wanted to go um, within my career journey rather than focusing on one area. I think I have really enhanced on my office-based skills so communication within telephone or via email. We've taken on a new kickstart and I've taken up the task of mentoring her through a lot of her stuff so this has really given me scope for my management side. For me it's great having these one-to-one -one sessions with my tutor where I can comfortably say if I have any issues or if there are areas I'm struggling with and this can really be um, beneficial for me because it's tailored to whatever I need. It's scary to think that you go from an education-based setting into an office or how, whatever workplace you are because it's so daunting to think there are people here that have worked 50 or so years in the same business and you have no experience but it gets you in gear, it prepares you for the real life and it's great, you, you can earn money whilst getting your experience and getting educated and so I think it gives you a lot more prospects for your future.